All right, so when it comes to looking at your startup business uh, for the first weeks and then months, and then also beyond that as well, when it becomes less of a startup and more of a fully fledged business, it's really important to have uh, a particular mind uh, or view or perspective about the actual business itself. This is something to a degree you can transpose to if you are a um, employee at a company, but typically speaking, this is more pronounced if this is your company or if you're in a partnership with someone in building it. And the the analogy, if you like, uh, or, or other metaphor, is really simply that you should view your startup like you would view a baby. This may be easier to understand if you're a parent, but it shouldn't be too difficult to understand if you're not. Very simply, you view it as um, a entity that requires constant attention like a baby does. It sounds like an interesting way of doing things, but if you imagine if you have a newborn baby, the equivalent of the literally the uh, embryo of this, you know, its first nebulous idea of, of what a startup is, you literally have to do everything for it. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is that someone recently said to me, Richard, I can't wait till I'm a few months down the line because then I can sit back a bit and I don't really have to worry so much about the business. Well, the thing is that early on, you are going to need to worry about your business. You are going to need to obsess over it, but you're also going to need to look out for it as well. Um, Typically, not always, but typically speaking, a new business isn't particularly robust. Typically, a new business is vulnerable to attack in the sense of if something goes wrong, um, it might not have that much capital to boot, you know, to back itself up. It might not have that many employees to cover the workload that you may have, for instance. And with that in mind, your new business will need you to constantly tend to it. It probably can't be the case that you can work on it a couple of hours a day, then leave it be because more often than not it will need you for different things now as it grows much like how a baby grows for some things it becomes self-sufficient perhaps it starts generating you enough cash that you bring in uh, some people you or you outsource work so that certain things don't need your attention that's the equivalent of your baby starting to walk sit up hold his head up or perhaps uh, you know be able to feed herself or something like that um, and then going further, your company might get to a point where, in fact, you can be a little bit more hands off. And indeed, that, um, you know, it's no different to the baby maybe growing up to be an adult and leaving home. But I'll tell you this, and it's interesting because I was, I was told this recently, because, I, you know, it's interesting to interact with much older people and, and see their perspective on things. They say, this is a common theme when you speak to people who are in their 60s or 70s who have children. They say, do you know what, you never stop worrying about your, your children, even when they're 30 or 40 you always still think are they going to be okay do I need to help them with something like that and even though they're fully fledged adults that are very self-sufficient you always have in mind are they going to be right because ultimately or rather originally they were once a baby and it's exactly the same with your business no matter how passive the income is no matter how wonderfully well set up it is that you don't have to touch it and you do a four-hour work week or whatever it might be the reality is that because you typically are the person who conceptualized it and put so, so much graft and hard work into it it will still be on your mind much like a child would be as they grow up for a parent uh, and no doubt when it's doing tremendously well you'll still have uh, mentally uh, part of your yourself uh, embedded in hoping not necessarily worrying but hoping that that business will be okay so I think an awareness that that's going to be how you need to really be and how you will be if you're doing the right thing uh, it's important because the, it's no, no minor undertaking building a business and so try to have that analogy uh, in your mind. It's going to need constant attention at the start. You need to always be there for it. And, and really I say this because I, I know a lot of people who um, are surprised with how much work really needs to go into it. And indeed when businesses are going really well uh, and they feel like they're kind of starting to be self-sufficient and as one person once said to me, they're starting to wipe their face, it's still doesn't mean that you can let you let you know let go of it and let it run itself you still need to be there to make sure you kind of nudge it in the right direction and you're probably tending to more mature things but you're still tending to it so be aware that's going to be how you look at the business um and indeed it's it needs to be probably the the uh the mindset you have uh, or, or rather that you chase you know i need to make sure i i really tend to this thing don't let it 
go. Don't don't let it wander off on its own because it might do itself harm. Don't don't leave it and hope everything will be okay. Get in there and look after it. That's the way to look at it. So it's something I've taken on board with my businesses and is they've certainly been very successful there and I encourage my clients to do the same. I, I think it's something worth doing. Let me know your comments if that's something that you feel you do uh, or in fact uh, if you feel that there's a different way to, to approach it. I'd be interested in hearing from you as well.